Joining us now is Michael Chertoff. He served as America's second Secretary of Homeland Security under President George W. Bush. Today, he's the co-founder and chairman of the Chertoff Group, a cybersecurity risk management firm. Uh, great to have you here. Um, you know, I just said to Blake, anytime you hear the Department of Energy being targeted, as well as apparently several hundred private companies, how serious a hack is this, do you think? Yeah, well, it, it is serious, and it's kind of demonstrating a situation we have faced in other circumstances, which is that the supply chain, which provides the individual software tools or even the hardware that can be used to build our IT systems, when they wind up getting compromised, it's like giving the bad guys a skeleton key that allows them to open all the doors of the customer agencies and companies that use that software. And that's one of the reasons that the administration uh, in its uh, cybersecurity strategy that was recently issued is now very focused on raising the bar in terms of securing software and making sure people are warned when there is a problem that's been discovered. Right, but last week the FBI put out a warning and then this week we find out that the hack happened. Did we not get the warning in time or were they warning about the wrong thing? No, I think they were warning about the right thing. The challenge is sometimes the individual entities don't realize they have the software in their system. And part of the strategy that has been issued has been to identify when you do have software, what are the component elements that make up the software so you immediately can tell if something has been compromised that you've got a problem. Otherwise, it winds up being something that people may not be aware they really have as a threat. Right. until they get specifically notified. We have been warned ever since Russia invaded Ukraine and we began to help Ukraine. Uh, military and cybersecurity experts have been warning that the Russians might try cyber attacks. Um, so far, we really haven't seen very many um, because we know that Russia is very good at this. And But I've been told, so are we, and that's why they haven't. Do you think this is about to change now that we've seen this particular cyber attack? Well, this was not, as far as I know, an attack on critical infrastructure that shut down, for example, the power grid or the water system. It was basically stealing data and trying to ransom it off. Now, that's bad, but it's not quite as cataclysmic as an attack on critical infrastructure. We saw those attacks against Ukraine over the past several years on a number of occasions. There were very serious attacks on Ukraine, but the Russians have not yet cross the bridge of doing cyber uh, infrastructure attacks in the U.S., although we have found evidence that they've conducted reconnaissance and that they have sometimes penetrated our energy grid. That is not good. Um, I just want to get your reaction to the U.S. sending the F-22s over to Syria and what's been going on in the skies over Syria. We hear about this sometimes with Chinese pilots, you know, getting really aggressive in the air uh, with our pilots. And now we're seeing this happen with Russian pilots in the skies over Syria. How much does that concern you? I think it concerns me any time we run the risk of raising the temperature that right. might get into a hot conflict. We have seen circumstances where China and Russia kind of play a game of chicken and they try to test us or test our allies to see our reaction. The danger is that at some point someone will miscalculate and there'll be a loss of life and then you're in a different place. So I think it's important that we be self-disciplined but also tough in responding to these provocations. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.